Hey, what's up YouTube? Back again with another video. In this video, we're gonna talk all about sentry mode, how to turn it on, and how to pull the clips from the USB drive. So this clip here you can see, I was parked at a shopping center and had the sentry mode turned on. So as soon as this truck starts to pull in, sentry mode is activated and starts recording this to a separate file in the USB drive. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna show you exactly where this file was found. But first you're gonna need a USB drive that's been properly formatted. Heading over to Tesla's website will give you all the information you need. First, format the drive depending on which operating system you're using. Simply add a folder to that USB drive labeled Tesla Cam with a capital T and a capital C with no space. Properly eject that from your computer and plug it into your USB in your Tesla and you're gonna be able to get this footage like I have here right from your car. So from your phone app or from the touchscreen display, you can turn on sentry mode and currently with the software, you have to turn it on during each time you're in park. So from the phone app, I can scroll down to controls and then click on sentry mode there and it takes a second for it to turn on and once you see it turned on by the blue here, then you know that sentry mode is active and it's gonna record any motion that happens around your vehicle. I'm using a very inexpensive eight gigabyte USB flash drive that you can easily get off Amazon. I will say prior to this last update, I was getting the gray X on top of the dash cam. And if this does happen to you, you need to take the USB drive out and reformat it and stick it back in your car. When working properly, the dash cam should have a red dot. So just to be clear, dash cam footage and sentry mode footage is both stored to the same USB drive. Okay, here comes the painful moment. Okay, yes, I am trying to be funny here and a little dramatic. I don't think this guy did it on purpose and I think it was just an honest mistake. Also, there was no damage to my vehicle, not even a little scratch. I'm sure this guy is not associated with the pickup truck icing group. <laughs> In my last software update video, you saw that my Model X, which has Autopilot 2.0 hardware, which never had the dash cam feature, now has sentry mode. And so when I turned on sentry mode and tried to pull the clips that sentry mode recorded, I got this error message. Like it wasn't recording something correctly. And so nothing was able to be recorded from sentry mode. So you guys might be having the same issue if you have sentry mode and you're trying to activate that on your autopilot 2.0 hardware vehicles. Let me know down in the comments below if you've also had an issue with your autopilot 2.0 cars. Okay, so once you pull the USB drive out of your car and stick it in your computer, you're gonna see what you see here. Recent clips and save clips. Recent clips is from the dash cam where save clip is from the sentry mode or from the dash cam if something happens and you tap on the dash cam, it'll save that portion of it. Each of these folders in a, is an event that was saved and it's saved in the format of front, left, right. Front, left, right, front, left, right. For now these are really short, so you might have to click into multiple ones to find what you're looking for exactly. But it's helpful that it's saved in kind of a date format. Under recent clips, you're gonna see what your dash cam or your sentry mode has picked up most recently. Now all these files in here get written over as soon as the memory card is full, and that happens every so often. I wanted to also mention that I found some of these clips have a blurred line at the bottom, as you can see here, when you're playing the clip and how the clip is recorded. And so this blurred section will go in and out. And I think this is related to software or how the file from this video clip is actually saved onto the USB drive. Let me know if you're also having this same issue down in the comments below. If you're interested in purchasing a new or leasing a Tesla, check out my referral link down below and you can actually get 5,000 miles of free supercharging. Not 1,000 miles like it's been, but 5,000 miles of free supercharging. Keep in mind that this does expire on May 28th, so make sure you place your order before then. All right, well, I hope you guys like this video. If you have any additional questions, let me know down below and I'll try to answer them as best as I can. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.